Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Arvind from Merit Pros. Let's get started. So Maven Surefire plugin. So what does it do and where do where does it get applied? So let's check it out. Okay. So Maven Surefire plugin is used during the test phase of build a life cycle so usually uh, like when you uh, if you have attended the previous sessions uh, the life cycle is divided into three sections one is like clean build and then uh, we have the clean build and site three phases actually so build is the phase where we have the test phase so uh, the testing whenever you do your testing whether it's going to be if you're going if you're a developer you're going to do your unit testing. If you're going to be a tester, automation tester, you're going to run your automation scripts. So in all these phases, the Maven Surefire plugin will be used. And that is the phase in which the exact behavior or the exact usage of a Maven Surefire plugin comes into picture. So only in the test phase, we'll be using this particular stuff. And it executes the respective testing framework based on the configuration provided in the Surefire plugin. So that means like say whenever you have a Maven Surefire plugin. So what happens is like, let me explain it to you. So whenever you have it out, so a Maven Surefire, the plugin, what does it do? So basically from uh, usually this is the place from which we can, uh, like say we can give it as Maven Central repository so this is the place from where we are going to get your maven surefire plugin okay yeah this is the contains this is what we have it as a maven so from here only we are going to get all your repositories so out of which like say what we are discussing about is like maven surefire plugin so we are going to get this one so we are going to see like say maven sure surefire plugin, and then search for it Okay, it's a bit delayed. Okay, it's rotating just a second. Yeah, so this is what we are seeing it now. Maven Surefire plugin. So what does it do? It will be available in the testing phase. And whatever the framework you use in your automation or in your unit testing, all the reports will be available inside the Maven Surefire plugin. Okay, and after your execution of your unit test or your automation test cases, the reports is the main part actually in any of your automation or, or, or if you're a tester your automation reports will show you how much execution you have done and what is the uh, total test cases that you have executed and how many pass how many fail how many you have skipped it and how many defects are there so everything you can tell it to your management only with the help of reports so reports plays a major role inside your automation testing. So that's why we are mainly focusing into Maven Surefire plugin because as a Maven, uh, like say, Maven will have a folder separately available in order so that all your reports will be available over there, simple. But if you are going to use any third party frameworks, like say test in TJ unit Cooper. So in case like if you are in the automation perspective, so these are the different frameworks or flavors of frameworks available in the industry so that people use it. And these test in TJ unit Cucumber will or it has its own reports, default reports. So even those default reports will be available as part of your Maven target folder. Okay, so that is what we have mentioned over here. After execution of your test, the reports will be available in the default path, target Surefire reports. And what does it make to run this reports? So usually Maven has a different command lines available. Okay, so that we have seen in the previous session, different types of command lines. So out of which one particular goal, we are going to use it in Maven. That is nothing but Surefire test. So this will help in order to execute or in order to store your results into your target Surefire reports. Okay, so and again, when you say the reports, so you can ask me a question like test in GJ unit cucumber, all these are giving you the default reports. So only that will be stored inside your target Surefire reports. Obviously not. We have some third party reporters like Allure, Extent, etc. So that also will be available inside the same path. So we are going to see a small demo like how to integrate the Maven Surefire plugin to your specific 
reporting. So for this particular demo, we'll try to use two different frameworks. One is your test ng framework and one is your Cucumber framework. Okay, so let's jump into particular session. Okay, uh, we are going to uh, create a particular project. Okay, so Maven project, we are going to use it. File, new, Maven project. So this is how we create a Maven project. So we are going to make it quite simple. Okay. So group ID artifact ID will contribute towards the name of your project and your sub projects. So let's have it as a Maven demo session. Okay. The same name, uh, we'll give it for your artifact ID as well. Click on finish. So as you can see over here, the project is getting ready. So Maven demo session, that's what we created. And this is the pom.xml that we were talking about. So in this pom.xml only, we used to add all your dependencies over here. And these are the folder structure. So this is the target that we were talking about in our slide. Target, as of now, Surefire reports will not be available. So once we build our project, it will be coming into the picture. So what we are going to do it is like inside your pom.xml. So we are going to create a few dependencies or we are going to add dependencies for which like say, let's try to do some dependencies. So this is inside this particular tag only, you can keep all your dependencies. Like say, for example, we are an automation tester. So Selenium web driver and we search for it. Selenium Java would be there. So we are coming over here. So this dependency, I'll click it and you can see it's copy to clipper. Just I'll place it over here, simple as it is. And similarly, the framework that we are going to use it up. So it's going to be your test ng and I'm going to search for it. And I have the test ng, click on it. 7.4.0 let's take the latest version okay so again place it inside the dependencies okay so these two uh, files we are going to use it up selenium hq dot uh, uh, sorry selenium hq dot selenium selenium java and test ng so from here only we are going to do something about called your surefire so we are having something called a build tag build tag oopsie and then here we have the plugins. So over here inside the plugins only, we are going to add different plugins. Uh, so basically we used to add two plugins. So one plugin is for your Maven compiler. Okay, let me show that how you do it up. Maven compiler. So this is a Maven compiler plugin. So again, take the latest version. Don't go for the backdated one. Sometimes compatibility issues would be there. So here, there is no need of dependencies inside the uh, plugins. So just copy the group ID artifact ID inversion. Okay. So this is the plugin we are going to use it up. And again, one more plugin we are going to use it up. That's what we are going. We saw it in our slide. It is going to be your Maven Surefire plugin. Even surefire plugin. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Let's go for the latest version. Okay. M5. Again, no need the no need the dependencies. Even if you copy the dependencies, no problem. Not an issue. Just paste it. Delete it. Control D is the shortcut key where you can delete it out. Yes. Okay, so we have a quite simple project with Selenium, with TestNG, with Java compiler, and a Maven Surefire. So now we need to tell our particular project what is the Java version we are going to use it. So minimum version required is 1.8. I'm advising you to install the minimum version. Okay, so let's have it up. So this is where inside the compiler you need to mention what is the Java version inside the compiler yes we have mentioned it simple now let's save it we have a project get going ready so as we have uh, seen in our slide like this is the achievement that we are going to do it as part of the slide we are going to generate a maven surefire report simple 
okay with the help of your test it so as you can see your project is getting built click on this progress view you can see it is getting downloaded so everything from your internet it will be getting downloaded from your internet in the sense you have all your uh, repositories inside your uh, uh, central repository from over there it will be getting downloaded in a place over here which we can call it as your dot m2 folder okay see users lenovo dot m2 over here it will be getting downloaded as a repository whatever all you are going to download it simple as it is okay our project is ready now let's try to update our project right click maven update project click okay yes our java version got changed if you have observed it okay previously it was 1.5 now it's 1.8 since we gave it as a 1.8 okay that's the minimum version so i'm going with the minimum version if you want the higher version you can give 1.11 or something so that's the greatest version and again st still java has been updating quite some time for recently till 17 it's available but better not go to 17 14 it should be fine okay so this is the one now we are going to try to create a new package okay just to run a sample uh, script actually okay the name would be like this is the package name test package merit pros okay finish and then we click new let create a class test okay finish it simple as it is now we are going to do about that before test okay just a second yeah it's loading okay let me add the test ng files so okay one minute if you face an issue like this just go to the build path build path configure build path and this time I'm going to add my library file as your test stage. Simple. Finish. Since we are using an Eclipse, this is mandatory. Then you can get it out. Test. So these are the annotations. And an annotation obviously has a method below it. Before, just I'm giving some simple as why as well. This is the before method. Okay. And then we have a test. So, test case. Test case. Okay. So also it is throwing an error. Just mouse over and import it. Simple. That should be fine. And after test. Public one. Simple. Just let's have it as a simple, just for our understanding. So from here, let me create it as a test ng XML. So test ng convert to test ng. Let it be as a default. Finish. I have an XML created. So this is it out. Okay. Now what we are going to do it is like we are going to run it. Okay. Your test ng XML. So whatever the framework we have created, we are going to run it over here. So how to run it is like your test ng XML plays a major role. So in the Maven Surefire plugin, we are going to mention the name of your test ng XML. Simple as okay, quite simple. Let me show you. Again, there is no rocket science over here, it's just a simple uh, simple thing. Okay. I'll show it to you. So, oops, start. Yeah. Okay, in the Maven Surefire, we're going to give the configurations. Simple as it is. So, throughout your test ng, your name of your test ng will be quite common, the name of your test ng XML. So, that's why I'm just simply copy pasting it and I'm saving it simple so this is the place where it's going to invoke a test ng xml so now let us see so so far in the target we don't have anything available so 
now we are going to run it out form right click run as maven install okay since it's the first time let's try to do a maven install over here it comes okay it first installs all the dependencies whichever we are given in pom and then runs your script okay so you can see a lot of things are getting installed so these are the surefire maven compiler selenium and testng all those dependencies it is checking whether it has been installed and now it starts your test simple as it is yes so it has test one test run one and how much time 0.95 seconds it's less than a second okay now what you can do it's like just refresh your project right click in the project and there is a refresh button or an f5 so now you can see your target folder it has generated the reports surefire reports so whatever the test ng folder we are it is available it will be available over here so your test ng also by default it creates a report let me show that as well for you so okay so by default all your reports are consolidated over here in your index.html open with web browser always use a web browser so that your experience is good okay this is the one okay so and you can see the maven reports as well over here your test suit.txt so this is what it creates okay so similarly over here it creates your xml as well okay so xml it will be available over here yeah so this is the one okay so whatever we have run the test case before test case after everything it will be available over here so this is how your maven surefire it is run so from your command line how to do it up simple as it is uh, i need to visit to this particular of uh, uh, like say now we are going to see about something called your surefire test right from the pt i need to visit to this particular folder okay your project path cmd so directly it goes to my pro path of your project or path of your pom.xml and here we are going to do mbn fire colon test. simple that's it whatever we did now in eclipse the same thing will be doing it over so as you can see this is my before method whatever we mentioned inside your eclipse okay so that would be available over here as well okay and again the reports would be generated the same thing just if you refresh it your target report it will be available since we have already uh, opened it right just let me refresh it again if you want to refresh the report over here your test suite also okay so this i need to reopen it since it's a txt file right yes so um, there is obviously no difference in time because it's a simple report. okay so this is how it works so any doubt here so far till now thank you for watching this video Hope the covered topics will help you in your career development and growth. See you in our next video.